All right, so let's see if we can find the angle between these two vectors. So find the angle between the vectors. We know that cos and theta is the dot product over the product of the magnitudes. All right. Well, off to the races we go. Except, of course, we're in three dimensions now. So I have 6 times 4, negative 2 times 9. I have 1 times negative 6. And now we have the great big product of the magnitude. So that's 6 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 1 squared. And then we have a big number, 4 squared plus 9 squared plus negative 6 squared. But what happens here is kind of nice. This is 24. This is negative 18. This is negative 6. This numerator is 0. And if the numerator is 0, so long as this denominator is not 0, which clearly it isn't, so the cosine of theta is 0. The dot product of the vectors is 0, and we know what that means. So we have cosine theta is equal to zero, so theta is cosine inverse of zero, and that's 90, 90, 90 degrees. And we were, do we remember the word? Yes, we do, orthogonal. All right. So the same procedure holds as before. Two vectors are in three-dimensional space, non-zero vectors, these must be non-zero vectors, Two non-zero vectors are orthogonal in three-dimensional space if their dot product is zero. If the dot product is zero, then uh, the vectors are orthogonal. Again, we're assuming non-zero vectors.